All right, so the quantity versus quality argument, it usually goes something like this. There's a belief that the more videos you make, that comes at the sacrifice, I guess that way, of quality in each video. You've only got so much time in the day, so the more videos you make, the less work you can put into making each video as good as possible. So your average quality across all of your videos is gonna obviously drop. This being the case, there's two strong views, beliefs, on how you should approach YouTube. The quantity argument and the quality argument. The quantity argument usually goes something like this. They say that the more videos you actually have on YouTube, the more opportunities people have to discover you and learn about you, to watch your videos, to then learn about you as a creator, to subscribe to your channel and for your channel to grow. But the argument against quantity is, like I said, the lower quality that's going to be in each of your videos means that people might be discovering your videos thinking that each video you do is trash and then moving on without even subscribing to your channel anyway because you've just sacrificed quality. So the opposing argument, the quality side, say that it's the quality of a video that actually makes someone subscribe to your channel. But obviously the counter argument to that is if you're focusing just on quality, you're not gonna have many videos out there to be discovered. So in terms of numbers, there's a lower chance of you being discovered and growing on YouTube. So two equally valid perspectives, arguments on how you should approach YouTube. And I wanted to make this video to say that as a YouTuber myself, after four years of being a YouTuber, experimenting with doing lots of videos per week, one video per week, experimenting with different quantities, I now believe that quantity is the approach to take on YouTube in 2021 to grow as quickly as possible on YouTube. So let me just run through exactly why now, four years in, I've reached this decision that quantity just simply outperforms quality on YouTube. First off, with more videos, you're just casting a wider net on the website to be found and to grow subscribers. We've already covered that argument and I think that is a really powerful point. But secondly, and this is what most people don't talk about much, I don't believe that increasing your quantity of the videos you're putting out there necessarily has to have as negative effects on quality as people make out. I mean, first off, by making as many videos as you possibly can, you're gonna be getting real life experience of video production. You're gonna be doing way more writing, editing, presenting, filming than you would otherwise. So you're gonna be developing those skills and becoming a better video maker, which as a result, you're gonna be improving the quality because you're gonna to be developing skills that are required for a higher quality video. And the other belief of why a higher quantity of videos results in a lower quality is the time constraints. You know, you've only got so much hours in a day, so many days in a week to make videos. So if you're trying to do more videos in that same amount of time, you're gonna to have to sacrifice quality. But that's not necessarily the case. One thing you can do to keep the quality of your video, but only have the same amount of time to make videos, is to just make your videos shorter. You could potentially be making two videos in the same amount of time it took you to make one, but be keeping that same amount of quality in each video. And you can also do things to become more efficient and effective with your time. There's tons of productivity, principles you can follow to just become a better worker and to squeeze out more in the same amount of time. So as long as you're not sacrificing quality too much when you're pursuing a higher quantity, which I don't believe you have to for those points I just mentioned, I believe high quantity is definitely the way to go on YouTube, moving into 2021 because you're just casting a wider net to be discovered. 